Okay guys, so we're now going to just take a quick look at a shear example. So here's the example I've got. Uh, given the following setup below, so we have a just a tube which is or a section that is fitted into this sort of clevis and it's held in place with this pin and there's a force going through the section of 1500 newton meters oh, not and there's a force going through of 15,000 newtons and we want to know what size of pin is required given that it will be made from structural steel. So first thing, so we're dealing with a shear problem. So our equation is force stress equals force on area. Um, but hopefully you'll notice here that we are dealing with a double shear problem because we've got a area on the cross-sectional area on the pin here and another one here. So therefore the equation we want to look at is one with 2a on the bottom there. And we're dealing with structural steel so pull up our material data and we go structural steel and we've got a tensile yield strength of 240 so 240 megapascals however we're dealing with shear so we need to look at shear stress so denote that like so and that's 0.58 of that one which gives us 139 megapascals. Um, now we just need to solve the problem which is pretty quick so we get 2A equals 15,000 which is our force divided by our shear stress which is 139. This equals 107.91 plugging it in on the calculator um, therefore a which equals pi d squared on 4 is equal to 107.91 on 2. Solving this for d gives us d squared value of 68.7 and d equals 8.29 millimeters. So once again we just need to select a an appropriate size from uh, our list of solids. So if we're going with a solid round pin we will select so our number was 8.29 uh, we've got an 8 but that's too small so we need to go up to the next largest available size which is 9.52 millimeters in diameter. So diameter chosen is 9.52 millimeters. And that's our answer.